How the guys? How's it going? So finally getting the time to come out and install the wood stove. Took and packed it up yesterday along with these three stone pavers. Uh, just got the flat trod back. That was actually a bit more difficult than I thought because it's out of reach. Uh, and the, the canvas has got its first blood shed on it. So, uh, so yeah, well, I, whenever I took it, I rode in. There, there was actually a really large doe just about, I don't know, 20 foot in in front of the wall tent here. I wish I would have had the, uh, the action camera either on my head or on the front of the four-wheeler. But the floor in it that is in this tent is heat resistant. You can take and just set the stove uh, right down on top of it with the legs, of course. Uh, but, you know, if you get anything roll out of the front of it, which is always going to happen. It's a good idea to have something for it to land on, otherwise it will sear holes in the flooring. So the most nerve-wracking part is just going to be cutting the hole to make sure that we get the uh, the diameter right. Because with this one, as a sewed-in jack, you could obviously put a new one in, but uh, it, it's a lot, it'd be a lot more difficult than just like, you know, the backpack and tent you see where you can just fold the panel out and put a new one right back on. So pretty easy. A lot more debris did get underneath this and I thought it would have initially and bro there went another god dang mouse I just ducked outside he's gonna get the I've killed I've killed three mice. I didn't realize there was that many mice in, in the woods here, but uh, there's no damage to the tent whatsoever. They just found little edges of, like with this, where I did not expect them to be out of this, which being waterproof, I guess. That makes sense, but yeah, the, the cot, the chair, none of the canvas has been touched. We we'll use that mouse nest right there to start a small fire in the thing once we get it situated. Oh no, the tent is holding up great. Just still occasionally taking and coming, you know, and tightening along the support pieces when necessary. Along the guidelines. Like this part of the floor right here is where pavers will go and it looks pretty much brand new because it's been folded over this whole time. It does have a bit of like a bathtub design so that it'll stay down. So I guess I'm really thinking most of the stuff that did get kind of underneath that right there is solely from some stuff that a mouse has drug under there.
Okay, there we go. So I was able to take that pipe that was a bit dirtier and make a black ring right there. It's so like this lowest ring area right there, up and then around the inside of that ring, and that is where that is going to go. Let's put my knife at the base of that. And if anything, I want to keep it a little bit shorter. I'm just going to cut across. Okay, so we need to take off just a wee bit more, which is fine, because I did use kind of the tapered end. I was just way more worried about cutting too much versus... Boom, and there we go. We got a, a perfect, like a perfect fit, really. Okay, and then we just got this pipe <coughs> and our spark arrestor. And just make sure, like, that is good and clean and because this is supported so high I don't think we're going to have to worry about any type of guy out points for these wires because that's nice and snug and by the way too though like what, what you see me do don't attempt this this is definitely not in fact you recommend it but as I'm hopping up I'm putting zero pressure and weight on the canvas section or the rain fly I'm putting all my weight just straight down onto the pole system and these tents are designed to hold you know pretty large snow loads so i weigh 150 pounds so I, like it's more than capable as long as you're right near the support pole on the edge and she's done so there you have it once you get this thing set up this section over here would be a great place to store any wet gear or anything that you would want just to, to remain warm. Then we got our stove. Since these pavers already come here to the front of the door, I will just bring another one and have a, a flat square. But I can assure you right now for a little first test burn, I'm pushing on that side to side hard and this thing is not going nowhere. Uh, two, I should have mentioned this sooner, but this is like my winter well stove. This is the first time it has been in a legitimate hot tent. We did do uh, that kind of DIY wall tent build last winter. And right now, I mean, as you can see, I'm, I'm sweating a bit um, just from moving around. It's about 64 degrees outside right now, but j even just working in the tent, uh, you start to feel it. But let's take get that rat's nest and uh, build, <clears throat> build a little fire in this thing. We're just having a small fire. I'm gonna scoop this rat's nest up. It should go up in no time at all. So I got some pine cones from a white pine. <laughs> center section up so this thing should go up pine cones starting to go now that's uh, like you know i didn't touch that rat's nest with my bare hands but it must have had a good bit of moisture in it for it to uh for it to be that difficult to start but yeah once the sap and them pine cones really get going and like right now i need to make sure my draft tubes and everything are open so it can start drawing. And I got some wet sticks off the ground because I do want this to smoke a bit so I can just make sure everything's good after 
we get it closed up, make sure I ain't got any spots in the pipe that's smoking in a way that they shouldn't be. Because the reason you're seeing the smoke where you're at, like coming out this front right here, is because I just started this at the front. Open the damper. So that right there, that's the damp well fully opens that, but the farthest notch and setting is right there. And then that's the pine cones and everything in there just roaring up. Right now we have really little to no smoke at all coming out of the chimney, which is good. And here's just a little smoky when that initial start. but not seeing anything coming out of the pipe. That right there just ties everything together. Having a wood stove and a canvas wall tent is what makes it legit. And that, that right there is a very large stove for eight by 10 tent. So I'm really needing the, the cold, cold weather to get here. I know this video was specifically project oriented. Um, I just had never done this before. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I had Plenty of wiggle room and it was also something like looking for videos of people installing wood stoves and canvas wall tents like there's some really there's some like older ones like seven eight years old but they're just I just didn't come across any that's you know pretty recent so warm in here already with the front door open uh, I'll be I've not even had a chance to use these vented windows yet that kind of run right across through here so I'll be doing that you know, as long as the mice leave my stuff alone, uh, eventually probably get a different cot in here. Uh, the USMC bed net in here will stay up. Uh, if this is the first time you've seen the video and you're curious about any of the gear that's in here or that I'm using, or like the wall tents, white duck, outdoor canvas wall tent, winter well stove, USMC bed net, one thief surplus, Tom shoe collapsible cot, and then Mission Mountain table and chair so that's just for anybody that's interested not, and i will do my best to uh to link to everything down in the description but i'm gonna sit here let this little fire burn out just double check make sure there's no issues and uh that'll do it for this one so as always make sure you thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already shared the channel with friends family anybody that enjoys good old outdoor activities and or gear until the next one adios